Yeah, man, this is uh it's a really cool, you know, accomplishment. It's definitely something that you want to mark off, off your list of things to accomplish in your career. Um, you know, and I feel like I'm repeating this a lot, but I've been telling everybody it's been a long time since I've been an actual all-star, you know, I mean, probably back to little league days. Um, you know, my years in the minor leagues, I didn't end up making any of those teams. I was bouncing around a lot, like first couple of years stayed in the rookie ball realm or with injuries and just poor performance and not really figuring it out. And then 15 and 16, I cleared six levels in a matter of two years. So I never stayed anywhere long enough to, you know, to accumulate enough stats to make an all-star team. So, um, yeah, this is the first time I've, I've been selected as an all-star in a long, long time. So it feels good. You've probably been around most of these guys, played with them, played against them. But is there somebody that, you know, you're going to see whether NLAL that that you might fanboy out meeting? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm interested to meet Otani, you know. I mean, he's a monster of a human. Um, and to see what he's doing at this level, it's like a child's game to him. So um, very intrigued to meet him and playing with Darvish. You know, Darvish has a lot of good things to say about him. And, um, you know, those Japanese born players, you know, they all look up to him and he's a, a young kid. So. Uh, I'm excited to meet him, but all these guys, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm most excited probably for the home run derby to sit front row and get to watch some of those guys slug some balls and hopefully watch them get all their homers out before the second half starts up. I was going to ask you about that. The, out of those eight guys, I believe Julio Rodriguez is the only one that you haven't actually pitched to, although you 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 guys just saw him. Who do you right. like handicap that? Who's the most dangerous out there? Dude, it's hard to pick anybody other than Paul with Pete, man. Um you know, watching his batting practice, his swing is so easy, simple, repeatable. Um, and watching the way he's swung it, I think, what, he's won it the past two years? Yeah. Um, you know, that'll be fun to watch. I would love to see Albert compete up there and get up in that final round. Um, it's a lot of swings. We'll see how, how he holds up now compared to what he used to be. Um, but that guy's still a great player, and you know, he'll be fun to watch. Um, yeah, and then Julio Rodriguez, he's an exciting player to watch. He's got, you know, I think more homers than, you know, a lot of us expected him to have at the break, and he's been swinging the bat really well, so, and he's got a lot of energy, so it'll be exciting to watch as well. I was telling somebody earlier, you know, we, I'm a big coffee guy, um, but throughout the course of the season, like, with scheduling and stuff, sometimes, especially being on the road, it's really difficult to, like, get coffee early in the morning for day games or find a place that's open or, you know, convenient enough to walk to and get coffee before we go to the field. So I've been taking the Celsius. This is the, uh, the Arctic vibe, but I've been taking this stuff on the road with me and I'll throw in my bag, like a little case of it. And um, I always have them on hand for me, you know, when I need them in the mornings and stuff, but it's a good boost. There's like 200 milligrams of caffeine in it, no sugars, which is huge for me. So it's kind of the, uh, you feel, feel a little better drinking this than you do a, a little sugar loaded Red Bull or something. So I've been enjoying them, man. They've helped me a lot. Is there a favorite flavor of yours? This new one's probably my favorite, the Arctic Vibe. Yeah, I just got these in uh, a couple days ago, so I'm fired up about these. It seems like you see a lot of people who, you know, who work with products and endorse products, but don't actually use them or enjoy them. But anyone I've right. talked to that's working with Celsius stands by them. Dude, I'll tell you a funny story real quick. We were in Vegas for uh, for fights a couple years ago, and the very first time I had these was after the fights. We all went out to the after party with one of the, with the one of the fighters was hosting, and we're in the section. We walk in, and there's a bucket of these sitting in the uh, in the um, in the little cooler right at the table. And so I grab one, I drink one. I'm like, "Those are pretty good." So I drank probably two, three of them, thinking they're seltzers. And turns out they're not seltzers, they're energy drinks. And I was up till like 6.30, 7 in the morning at the casino gambling and winning all kinds of money. But uh, that was my first run-in with them, and I loved them. And then when they came and offered me, you know, the opportunity to drink them regularly, I jumped on board. 